Yeah, man. The patriarchy is crazy. Mm, mm, mm. That male privilege, man. Let's talk about it. How come we never talk about female privilege, though? You know what I'm saying? That shit is left off the table. You, you see half the room, look, they over there like, uh-huh, that's right. The rest of the women's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear this, Mr. Comedian. Like, <laughs> yo, we never talk about it, though, man. Women have the ability to be insecure and people give a fuck. <laughs> that is a privilege. Be an insecure woman. Uh, I'm ugly. <laughs> Nobody wants me. No, you're not, sister. <laughs> you're beautiful. You just got to manifest that nigga. <laughs> that's it. Step into your divine feminine. Like, that's all. They don't have that for men. Be an insecure man. Uh, I'm ugly. <laughs> don't nobody want me. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> In the eyes, I can see it. Like, <laughs> nobody gives a fuck, man. All right, before I get out of here, any uh, any uh, Trump supporters in the house? <laughs> <laughs> bro, why y'all lying, bro? <laughs> Tell the truth. Thank you for telling the truth, man. Bro, ain't that crazy, bro? How like <laughs> ten years ago, gay guys in the closet, and now Trump supporters is in that motherfucker. <laughs> I just can't be myself. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is wild, bro. That shit is crazy, bro, because, like, the way people, like, as a Trump supporter, you get vote shamed. Don't you fuck with me if you voted for that motherfucker. <laughs> and people vote shame you as if that'll change who you voted for. All it do is make you not admit that shit in front of liberals. But I'm from the South, Burt T. County, North Carolina, and I'm not afraid to admit in front of a room full of liberals that I voted for Kanye West, so take that <laughs> shit to the face. <laughs> Trump was, was funny, though, man. You can say you don't like his politics, but you can't say that nigga won't funny. He came out saying shit you never seen the president say. <laughs> he came out, he was like, Al Baghdadi <laughs> is dead. <laughs> there was a lot of shooting. He died like a dog. He's like, God <laughs> damn. <laughs> How the fuck you say that about him? He died like a dog. <laughs> That's what I miss about Obama, because he was always prestigious with his shit. Even if he killed a motherfucker, he was still uplifting. When he got, <laughs> when he got Bin Laden, he was like, thanks to the men and women uh, in our military, justice has been served. <laughs> Like, that's a great way to say murder, man. I fuck with you. Bro. I fuck with you. Like, Obama's so uplifting, he could say that same shit in nursery rhyme format, and it would still be uplifting. He could have came out and been like, Bin Laden is dead. The rumors are true. For years he tried to hide, but nigga, I got you. <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. That nigga from Al-Qaeda just got shy. Yes, he did. <laughs> Yo, y'all have a good night.